YouTube. Welcome to another episode of the Albino Rhino. Well, it's it's a food review and a hot sauce review at the same time because this apparently has a little bit of a kick. This is from Devin. Well, Devin and his mom. Devin and his mom. This is their zucchini relish. Look at this stuff. Look at it. It has all these nice little shit in it. It's red, it's green, it's yellow, it's it's every color you'd want if you were shitting. Uh, anyway, zucchini relish. I really like relish. I really do. I have a corn relish upstairs. It's the only relish I have left. Usually I have a zesty dill relish. I have a corn relish. I have a regular sweet relish. So it's great to have a relish. I love relish. I eat a lot of hamburgers. I eat a lot of hot dogs. I eat a lot of sausage. That didn't sound right. Um, but yeah, I eat a lot of things that would go on buns that would go good with relish. So I'm hoping for a really good relish here. Oh, he sealed that well. Oh my god, does that smell good. Look at that, guys. Look at that JTV. You see it without the bottle. Look at that YouTube. See it without the jar. So what do we see in here? We see corn right off the... Uh, I think that's corn. It's not corn, it's just something chopped up. Um, I don't know what that green stuff could be. Green pepper, I don't know. Red pepper, some zucchini. It just looks really, really good. It's all fresh ingredients. It's been canned. It's, it looks amazing. Smell, you get a little bit of salt like you normally would. You can smell the zucchini in there. Mm, you can smell some nice bell peppers. A little sweet. A little touch of tang. So here we go. Look at that. That looks gr that's that's a relish. It isn't like the relish you buy that's fucking colored green, like green food coloring in it, and just liquid shit. This actually is chunky because it's fresh food. This is good for you. That's what this is. This is good for you. It's the only reason to get into doing this stuff yourself because it's actually good for you. What's it taste like? Yeah, I see what he's talking about. There's a little... Let's use the... the. I'm a, I'm a germaphobe, not to myself, but to other people. Be, and because of that, I like to try not to put my spit back in things. So I'm going to use the handle of my spoon this time. Yeah, some salt. Some bell pepper. Lots of zucchini. You have to chew it down. It's not like the relish you're used to. It's not like that liquidy shit that we're used to. You actually have to chew this. It actually has a uh, substance to it. A little bit of uh, vinegar. Sweet. A little tiny touch of spice. I don't know what pepper they put in there. Because you can't taste it. But it does have a little bit of a kick to it. It's actually a great relish. Devin, you and your mom really need to go out and open your own kitchen and make this shit. You could actually have a living doing this. It would take a lot because you'd actually have to go to the uh, to the specialty stores to sell it. Uh, much like Bumper Crop. Much like Bumper Crop. Bumper Crop is a canning company. They do a lot of jams. They do a lot of pickled stuff. You could actually succeed with this because your recipes are really good. A little bit of heat, a little bit of salt, a little bit of sweet... Lots of veggie. That's what you're tasting. Lots of veggie, a little bit of sweet, a little bit of salt, a little bit of garlic. And and that touch of heat on the background. A beautiful, beautiful relish. I'm going to actually probably be done this jar. Well, t I just have tonight to eat my burgers, my pork burgers, with a fried egg. And then I'm gone for a few days. And then I'm back. And I'll probably have this jar gone by the end of the week because this is such a good relish. You guys did a great job. Make more. 8.5 out of 10 on this shit. Thank you guys. Bye.